I genuinely think the woman has to like the guy more than the guy likes the woman. And the reason for that is because it's a multivariate analysis. But the reason why is because women have more options now than ever before. So the only way that you're going to keep a woman loyal to you and want to be with you and not look the other way for another guy is she has to be constantly chasing your validation, not the other way around. Mm. And I think this is even more important in 2023 with the emergence of dating apps, social media, et cetera. Women have so many options, so many distractions, so many opportunities given to them by men all the time that if she's not chasing your validation, she's going to be chasing someone else's validation. And that's the worst thing that can happen to you as a guy. You never want to be first place because what I've realized is that women can't serve two masters. They have to be with, they're going to give their all to the best guy that they like. You know what I mean? When it, most women want to be with just one guy that checks all the boxes, mm. you need to be that guy. So that's why I heavily believe that women need to like the guy more than the guy likes her. Because when a woman likes the guy more, she's satisfied. She's like, this is the best man that I can get. She's in her feminine. She's happy. She's more submissive. She won't do any you know, BS and embarrass herself in the guy. But when it's the other way around and the guy pedestalizes the woman, the woman starts to think she's better than him. And when women think that they're better than their man, they end up turning into terrible people, to be honest with you. Yeah. I see that for today. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone disagree with that? Damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> Good panel. Uh, <laughs> they agree. Uh, well, I see you over there. You're like rubbing your eyebrow and stuff. You have something to say? Go ahead. Miss Hollywood. I feel like you love to speak for women, but women don't necessarily chase one guy either. I feel like maybe sexually we'll be with one guy, mm -hmm. but we love we love attention. We love to go out. If we met someone better than you, then we'd just be with them too. Like, so you want multiple niggas? I mean, every girl does, even if you guys Wait, who? don't want to admit it. <laughs> like, you love having guys in your phone, even if you're not responding to them. Mm. Mm. I disagree with yeah, that. Yeah, no, I well, yeah, no, you're me. correct. You're correct. Women do, that's, but that, you do realize your, what you just said proves my point even further, right? Yep. How? <laughs> yeah. You're... Like, you literally just proved my point even further, I I even more so. I like, just don't think that we have loyalty to one guy. Yeah, because my argument you is that. You triggered my trap card! Since women have so many options, mm -hmm. right? The only way that you're going to be able to keep that abundance in check is she needs to be chasing you and mm -hmm. not all the other guys, but she's only going to feel that if she thinks she has the best option. The only time I've realized that women talk to multiple guys at the same time or hooking up with multiple guys at the same time, typically each guy fulfills something but can't fulfill everything. I'll give you an example. You might have a guy that's good looking but a bum. She's having sex with that guy. Then she has another guy that has money but he's a loser. Right, right. He's taking her on expensive dates and she's not necessarily hooking up with him as much. Then she has another guy who's just fun, funny and nice to be around and he, she can uh, you know, talk to him. So like, women put men in compartmentalized roles most of the time because most guys don't have every single trait in one dude. However, if a girl can find a guy that has all these traits in one dude, she would much prefer to be with that individual. That's my Well, point. for myself, I disagree. You like to date multiple guys at the same time, personally? I would rather, because I always feel like there's something better out there, just like what he was saying. Like, you might meet someone that checks all your boxes and, and you like their traits, but then if someone else came around the corner... Okay. I mean, that might be your, your particular belief system, but I would argue most women would prefer to be with just one guy that has all the traits versus being with three guys that had some of the traits. Celia, multiple dicks. Got it. Trust your love. I, I, I mean, hey, and that might be, and that's fine. We're not trying to shame you or whatever. I'm just saying no, most no, women would prefer to give sexual access to just one guy that checks off most, if not all the boxes versus having sex with three guys that check some of the boxes. That's what I'm saying yeah, in general. Yeah. Some I, girls like I to have multiple sex saying, partners. But, but, but you're talking about women like, I don't know if I would cuff because they're not going to check all of these boxes and they can't like fully satisfy me is what you're saying. But women. No, it's actually the opposite. The, the things what? that women provide are very easy to find. Yeah. But men, you wouldn't men are, cuff men are, one. Men are satisfied would... women way easier than women are satisfied with men. So you wouldn't cuff because you feel like. Merch. It's because you do. There's many other women that no, can do the same it's thing. Because, yes. It's because there's an abundance of women that fulfill the same exact things you fulfill that men are going to yes. want to have sex with other women, but men are easy to please though. So the, 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 the barrier to success is very but you low. You don't think women are easy to please? No, not at all. So you, they just have, a woman just needs a man that has a good job. You think who's pick your men or women sitting, in general, but we're all sitting here hold with on, different answers saying mind, body, soul, and all of these things. Like a man has to be emotionally attuned. He has to be financially stable. Like that's really it. Not really. Uh, women women require yeah. who do you think is the pick your sex men or women if a man sat with any of us and started talking about his feelings and his emotions and it it connected with us that's really all it would take you said if yeah keyword if you. 
Yeah, yeah. and here's the other thing too that women to, like to always conveniently forget. I think that's assuming the guy comes in, sits down, is attractive, doesn't smell bad, isn't awkward. But I know a lot speaks. of beautiful girls that are with men that look like Shrek. Okay, they might have some money. They might have some status. Yeah. They might have be. A be men have to bring have something to the things. table to be with an attractive woman. Shut the fresh. And a woman, yeah, okay. But women don't necessarily have to bring anything to the table besides being pretty to be with a man. But didn't you guys say that you had to be an asset? What do you mean? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, to keep the yeah. guy around typically. To retain, yeah. To retain. Okay, but not to pull in. No. Yeah, but okay. to, yeah, I mean, a girl can be not absolutely but retarded and get a guy. Like, okay, guys, let's go to, to um, Clip Channel. Yep. We're, we're going to Clips. All right, yep. guys, real quick, come on over to uh, Fresh Fit Clips. This is where we're going to continue. 